Surendu, uh, uh, SK uh, Pratihari asks, what is the rationality of considering an ordinal scale as an interval scale? So uh, the example, the reason for this is simulation studies and research studies have shown that if you have a Likert scale of more than four points, that means five point Likert scale or more, or more, then linear analysis can be performed without affecting outcomes. Okay, so, so Subindu, there are research papers, statistical papers that have shown that if you have a Likert scale, not less than four point, five point or more, then your linear analysis that you perform on this and you perform the uh, analysis on ordinal kind, ordinal kind of analysis, this Likert scale gives you good enough result, robust results that would have been possible using interval scales, right? So that is, that is there. Okay, so that is, that is a, a result that we follow that, and that is why we typically say that when you are developing your scales, have at least five point or, or more in your Likert scale. Uh, so Amrita, I just mentioned, uh, replied to your, so it, it uh, why we consider Likert as an order. Yes, so Lekha, I just mentioned to Subindu's uh, uh, question also that uh, five point or more Likert scale uh, responses are quite robust and therefore uh, you can perform all kinds of analysis on these. Uh, uh, Silky, uh, just hold on. Uh, we, uh, we will uh, talk about when you should think of developing your own scale or when you should use from existing research. Deepti is asking, uh, why can't we accept null hypothesis and only fail to reject? Deepti, we, as a, uh, in, as a matter of philosophy, so this is called as philosophy of science, we never accept the null hypothesis because we never know what we are seeing is the actual true thing. We can only say that given that I am not finding evidence for other thing, I am willing to accept this. I am accepting that sun rises from the east because I cannot disprove it. Okay, so I am failing to reject it. I am failing to reject it. My aim is to falsify. My aim is to falsify the null and therefore we never write except we always write this is philosophy, philosophy of science so we should go by that. Okay, so Silky again uh, just hold on we'll talk about if we are using other scale how we should measure its validity and reliability. we'll come to that. Okay, so meaningful zero Meaningful zero means uh, that there, the zero here actually means that the, the, there, there is no quantity, there is absence of that quantity at that time. So in a temperature scale, we say that Kelvin scale, Kelvin temperature scale has a meaningful zero. That means zero on a Kelvin scale means that there is no movement of atoms, it is the uh, uh, state of complete rest. But zero degree Celsius, zero degree Celsius, does that mean that there is no temperature, there is no heat, there is no coldness? No, that does not mean. 
if if uh, celsius is a scale of temperature does zero mean that there is no temperature now no there is a temperature but zero degree kelvin actually means that there is no temperature right so that is what we mean zero degree zero weight means now there is no uh, you are completely weightless right so that is a meaningful zero right so that is what we mean that you should have a meaningful zero on the scale in a likert scale zero is not defined at all you begin from 1 to 5 right so again that that is okay so we'll talk about uh, 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 in the next steps how do we define how do we go about developing skills so uh, bageshri will will talk about uh, the various steps of skill construction in our next session okay so let us take a uh, officer gupta i think there were one or two questions before the yes uh, you missed it. So, Preeti had a question: Can we extract variable from secondary literature and develop construct? Uh, okay, there are some more. Questions. This is before the yes, yes, yes audible. Uh, one or two questions. I thought. Yes, yes. Can we extract variable from secondary literature and develop construct? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, so, so Preeti will will come to that when we talk about. item generation and scale construction right so we'll talk about uh, different ways so you can base you can develop measures based on uh, secondary literature you can develop measures based on interviews right and uh, uh, so it's like a mix and match i have put uh, given one paper which is actually developing a new scale based on secondary literature so i'll point you to that paper when we come to the uh, scale development rajendra uh, asks how do we quantify the content validity uh, so rajendra hold on to this question in our next session we are going to talk about uh, scale development procedure so we'll talk about it uh, varsha uh, can i use interval scale on ai enabled again it all depends on the kind of uh, conceptualization you are using the kind of theory you are building but yes it should be possible just hold on to that when we are going to talk about uh, but interval scale yes you can have likert scale actually uh, when you are developing your own uh, your scale for ai related so sudhanshu this will be very good question there are two different operationalizations or two different measures of the same concept one is a interval scale another one is a ratio scale celsius is also a measure of temperature kelvin is also a measure of temperature uh, and they are two different measures of the same construct which is temperature uh varsha i think ml is maximum likelihood or uh, uh so i will come to that uh, richa uh, will will come to this whether we should have seven point or five point even even numbered or multiple number uh, uh, even numbered or odd numbered whether you should have five point scales or seven point scales or six point scales uh, so there are different considerations to that we'll we'll talk about this uh scale standardizations include establishing reliability validity and norms okay uh, can norms be ignored so norms i think toren you are talking about how the scale has to be uh how the scale has to be uh, Uh, administered so no you should have proper norms you should have uh, proper norms on that is what i mentioned there should be proper norms of administering the scales and therefore uh, even those norms have to be clearly specified under what conditions 
who has to respond what kind of questions he or, he or she has to respond and and all of those norms have to be set yes so yes sumedha uh, test scores uh, zero is a meaningful number uh, there so you can consider that uh, zero there is uh, is uh, uh, zero is defined but just think of this example a little more if somebody has scored zero in an exam does that student does that mean that that student does not know anything absolutely on that subject or that means that the student uh, does know but he or she has not been able to score any mark on the on the test right so if you think about it this way then you maybe zero on the score on the test score is not a uh, a meaningful number you can also have marks in negative right so so that is that is an uh, it's a little uh, hazy uh, whether a test score of zero means that that person has absolutely zero knowledge of the subject uh, as i mentioned basu kar uh, zero on kelvin is is meaningful zero on weight is meaningful zero on length is is meaningful zero on uh, uh, speed scale speedometer is meaningful if a body has zero speed that means it is completely stationary there is no movement right so uh, irfana Uh, we should always in our research papers if you see when we write hypothesis we write that construct a is related to construct b that hypothesis is always a alternate hypothesis that hypothesis does not is not a null hypothesis the moment you write an alternate hypothesis leadership is related to performance okay construct a is related to construct b it is an alternate hypothesis the null hypothesis is leadership is not related to to uh, performance so it is an uh, null hypothesis but in our research papers we always write alternate and we test for the null hypothesis okay how do we do validity for qualitative research uh, so we'll come to that vasundra uh though this is not a qualitative study uh qualitative uh, workshop but in our skill development there is a substantial part of qualitative work and i'll talk about uh, validity for qualitative meaningful zero as i mentioned meaningful zero means that there is absolutely absence of that attribute on that zero right so therefore it is a uh meaningful there is absence of that attribute uh can we say all five dimensions are constructs service quality is a concept and all the 22 items are variable so i would say dharmesh that in your surf cone model when you have five dimensions that yes all 22 items are also variables because you will get one number on each of those items then you can combine those 22 mm -hmm. items and create five numbers for the five dimensions tangibility reliability so now you will get five variables for the five overall dimensions and these are also five constructs and surf quality is also a construct okay so that means you will have five one overall construct of service quality then you will have five sub dimensions of service quality so you will have five sub dimensions or sub constructs but they will also be called as constructs okay service quality is a concept but it is being used in a scientific manner so we will not call it as concept we will call it as a construct okay so you will have uh, 
construct of service quality as vijay kumar mentioned so we'll talk about it uh, you can have higher order constructs and lower order constructs so sub constructs and sub dimensions are also possible in some studies you can work with five dimensions as five different constructs or in some studies you can work with overall service quality we move uh, major to your answer uh, we will always write alternate hypothesis in our paper we don't write null hypothesis please never write h not in papers we always write h1 h2 h3 they all mean alternate hypothesis one alternate hypothesis two alternate hypothesis three right we never write null hypothesis for any of them. yes so i think we are done uh, basu kar we'll talk about inconsistent and consistent errors uh, we'll talk about that in a while uh, and uh, constructs are used in scientific manner they are not more specific gyan bahadur tamam we will say that they are being used in a scientific study in a scientific manner so they are Uh, therefore we call them as uh, constructs specificity i'm not it's very difficult to define what do we mean by specific just take it this way that constructs are concepts that we are going to now study in a scientific manner